Hello everyone and welcome back to another watercolour painting lesson or a bit of advice really. Um, today I'm just going to briefly talk about the importance of keeping a sketchbook um, because I take mine with me when I go on holiday. I don't take it everywhere but I, I do. if I go out for the day paint, um, cycling I'll take my sketchbook or if I go uh, you know, out for a walk maybe I'll take it. Um, especially if I go on my own because obviously if you go with a group of people you can't keep stopping to paint but yeah I, 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 I try and carry my sketchbook quite a bit with me um, now when, when you're painting a sketchbook I think you lose a lot of your inhibitions it lets you paint more freely because it's just a, a sketchbook it's not as serious as when you sit down and think well now I'm going to complete, uh, complete a whole painting so I would recommend a sketchbook to anyone I really would uh, to sort of uh, build confidence and you know help you sort of uh, you know improve on your skills okay this is my 8x5 sketchbook it's a moleskin sketchbook um, hardcover it has an elasticated uh, band there to keep the pages down but I tend to use uh, a bulldog clip with it uh, one of these clips which I find really useful um, and I put anything in it really. If I go out, there's a picture of the cathedral when I did the big picture recently. Um, another one of the Diglas, I take people down there painting, so I do a lot of those. There's a couple of paintings of the local college, Worcester College. That's a slightly different style for me. So often when I've got my sketchbook, I'll practice painting in different ways and different styles and stuff. So it's. Uh, this is where I just did some practicing with some with some uh, students, practicing uh, glazing colours and uh, mixing different colours, and they're just great to look back at. They really are. I, I, like, I enjoy looking at these as much as, as I enjoy looking at um, paintings. Often, um, and there we have some more uh, samples there, mixing greens all the way down. Yeah, and there we have that little painting of Saint Moore's in Cornwall when I was on holiday there in the summer. And this is just shows you, okay, and I don't mind showing people how bad my paintings can get because believe me, they can get atrocious. And uh, this was a couple of sketches I did on holiday and they're just dreadful. But I learned a lot from doing them. You know, it's just everything's wrong about them, but <laughs> there we go. Um, this is in Falmouth, a little estuary in Falmouth. It was a really rainy day and I sat in the car doing that. Um, yeah, there's a little sketch I did for a painting I did recently. Um, I don't know what happened here. It was just practicing something. <laughs> Not sure what it was. I had a trip to Vienna recently, and uh, I did some sketching of the trams. Um, there, the tram, and some builds. Just very quick sketches, maybe ten minutes or so. But you learn so much. When I go out cycling, I like to paint the countryside. Again, more countryside sketches. And these sketches, sketches like this, were taking maybe 10 minutes. Something like that. So it improves your speed. And while you have to be careful in watercolours, if you really want to try and catch uh, skies and you want to catch moments, you've got to learn to paint fast. And this is like a shorthand in watercolour painting. And that was just looking behind me. Uh, the view I just showed you. Yeah, okay, that one's upside down, so I'm going to show you that one. Just a very loose impression there of a scene. That was a church, believe it or not. But I just love it. I just love the instant approach. In fact, that painting to me means more than many paintings because I remember the day I painted it. And it's just it's just shapes that make up the, the, the scene. But for me, it works. I love it. A little one. This is where I often go for a drink if it's a nice day in the summer, just down by the canal in Worcester. I sat there with a couple of pints one day and uh, drew the building, painted the building. Um, the old hills here, double page. So you could open the page right up and you could do some nice landscape uh, paintings. They work really well. Take another one, just a close up of the cottages. My little back, I've only got a very tiny back garden. And. Uh, that's just a corner of it there's a little buddhist statue there and uh, there was a couple of flowers on the uh, on the hedge there quite a sort of uh, 
Which way do I need to go for that? An abstracty painting, Worcester Cathedral. That's just, don't know where that came from. Um, again, some pictures I've done, paintings I've done on my, when I've been on my bike ride. All way. Go around that way again. Because sometimes I, in such a rush, I do them upside down. Uh, just some more. There's some more colour mixes. That little picture. Oh, I didn't. I didn't go to Vienna, but I uh, copied it from somewhere. And I think that is a copy of a painting done by another artist. I copied. I just love the simplicity of it, and I just made a note of the uh, of the scene. I don't know if anybody recognises that, but it's a famous artist. I mean, somebody like uh, I'm not sure, but uh, uh, that was on a bike ride. There was a viaduct going across the back, but the the, the actual field in front of me was just full of uh, yellow rapeseed uh, flower and it was just beautiful absolutely beautiful so I climbed over and uh, sat there for five minutes and did that painting and that's that oh there's a couple back here another one of those that's a landscape I do so excuse the dog somebody's just arrived back and uh, a little black and white tonal sketch I did couple of little crazy moments <laughs> this was just trying to catch uh, a moment of light and clouds and that's it in that book uh, this is my other uh, sketchbook that I use slightly bigger you can get them bigger again in fact I'm gonna get a bigger one um, very soon and this one is what what's the size that's 12 inches by just over 8 inches so it's a nice uh, nice size to use and uh, again, nice big paintings you can do double, just that's a nice manageable size outside if you're using a big brush. Uh, you can get quite a lot of paint down there. And again, you know, just practicing skies whenever I get the opportunity to practice the sky. Terrible painting there, really. That was not dark enough, very, very, not very good. This was in Malvern, just by the Malvern Hills. I went cycling for the day and saw these cottages, painted them. Uh, again, that's in Malvern on the same day. Church, Malvern Hills. Yeah, but you can just, you know, you just when you're doing in a sketch, but you just go for it, and you'll find that because you just go for it, and you lose all your inhibitions, you, they they turn out loose, but pretty good. Uh, Worcester Cathedral. That's the sketch I did there of that last autumn, I think. Oh, I've done that many times. Well, this was a nice one. This was down at Poic. And uh, there's some cows in the field, and I'm not particularly great at drawing animals, so I don't have that sort of patience. I want to get better, but it's not my strongest point. But I was really pleased because I really managed to capture them in quite an abstract, impressionistic feel to the painting, just by doing blobs. And the whole painting sort of fell in together, and I was just, I was just really pleased with it. I love it. I love the way the buildings are just blocked in and the light and the shadow. I just, you know, it's so free and it was such a fun painting to paint. And here I got too, I got too engrossed in detail on this painting and it went wrong. It was outside, I sat under a tree and I never got the feel I wanted with it. That's a little demo we did that time. Uh, wave breaking over a rock. Well, this was where I went on my holiday to the Isles of Scilly. More Isles of Scilly paintings. That's uh, where I stayed in the Isles of Scilly, the Naga Panthers. That's the Atlantic there, in between the islands. Uh, when I was down in the uh, New Forest, Hurst Castle. I won't linger too long on these. Uh, but anyway, so you can see, that's a little flower I painted. We do, there's lots of paintings, and it's just a great way to uh, to express yourself and not to worry too much about, you know, how good the result is. These are, actually I did that on YouTube, that one. Actually I think I did them both on YouTube, these two. That's, uh, I also went travelling... Um, this is from a photograph, but in the Philippines, I went quite rural it was. It was a great, did lots of painting. Went to a beautiful island there 
and stayed on the beach in just a very simple little hut thing. It's great. And I uh, did loads of painting. And these are the latest ones for YouTube. This one, I don't know if any of you have seen it, but I put a, a video on YouTube recently. And um, I used a, tech, a gesso paste, which I put on the um, paper first and then painted over that and got quite an interesting effect. So, uh, yeah, quite quite like that. Anyway, that's it for, in that book for a moment. But I hope that kind of gives you, you know, the, the importance of sketchbooks. You know, for you, they might just be sketches that you do around the house. They don't have to be, you don't have to be going anywhere or doing anything. You might just want to, I don't know, do vegetables or whatever, your garden. If you, I imagine if you've got a beautiful garden, that'd be a fantastic thing to uh, produce a sketchbook on. Um, so, but I'm looking to uh, challenge myself more and uh, it's like portraits. I'm hopeless. I think my portrait painting would be embarrassing to say the least to show. I always think it's such a specialised thing to do it well. But what I'm thinking about doing is uh, doing a portrait challenge for myself basically and I was going to do because lots of people do these challenges over a hundred days and uh, and then they see how they progress and I just thought I might do a portrait every day for a hundred days and then well video them basically as I do them but spending no more than 30 minutes on each portrait so they're going to be a very instant approach to the person and the painting um, and just get a sketchbook like this and just fill it full of uh, portraits. I'll just find a picture on the internet and use that um, of, uh, of people I don't really know, to be honest, because I wouldn't want to do the people I do know such a big injustice. So that's a thought for me anyway. I'm, I'm thinking about doing that. But I hope the little insight into my sketchbooks was, was good. And um, leave any comments. Come back to the forum and ask me anything about sketchbooks. And, you know, we can chat about it because that's what it's there for. Um, you know, it's all slowly getting set up. It's It's been quite hard work getting it all organised, but we're slowly getting there. But anyway, thanks so much for watching and um, leave any comments in the forum. Bye for now.